what's up 412 sports cards here today back with another video and today we're going to be touching on what is the value of game used in today's market so it's been all the rage since panini started making those cards with jerseys that you know are unrelated to the player at all game worn game worn i've heard it a ton on podcasts lucas tigers bronze talking kobe game worn and I wanted to do a little investigation on this explosion of talk around Game Worn uh, myself and give that knowledge to you guys. So drop a like, drop a sub, you know, show some support. I know a lot of you guys who watch this are not subscribed. So if you wouldn't mind dropping one, it just helps me out, helps grow my channel. And yeah, I'll get into it. So we'll start here with some like Kobe, LeBron type talk. And then we're going to get into more of the broader game used market. Kobe. Uh... Kobe game used is going $70, I would say, is about the bare minimum on a standard one color jersey piece. Maybe $60 if it's like an atrocious looking card. Uh, that's about where the floor is. And it's kind of weird. There is like a floor on these game used jerseys. Uh, this last comped at $90, though. Uh, I think it's just because it's out of $149. I don't know. It's a decent looking card. I think the fact that it's out of 149 helps it. And yeah, so this comp for 90. So it's worth noting, I pulled this card out of a pack of certified in 2018. It's worth noting back then, this card was worth 15 to $20. So in since 20, like late 2018, this card is up about 4X. Worth noting, right? So, and then we move LeBron. This, uh, ignore this terribly scratched mag, but um, the floor on LeBron is like $30, 35 maybe, on his one color pieces. Uh, some numbered ones go for well more, NT jersey relics of him go for a ton. Um, this one comped at 70 last time. I bought this a couple years ago, probably around the same time I pulled this Kobe. I bought this and it was 35 bucks. Maybe 30 bucks, I don't know. But they went down a little from them. But yeah, this card comped at 70, which is honestly a lot higher than the base uh, for him. And yeah, so I'll, I'll speed it up. I'm going a little slow. But next up, Tom Brady. This uh, His base around 60. Uh, not sure what this goes used to go for, but I picked this up over the weekend. Just game used Brady out of... To, let's see if I can get to show out of 299. So what is that? What are the concerns? Are these prices justified? So are they justified with respect to one another? Well, you look at like LeBron and you look at Brady and you say, well, the LeBron floor is about half of what the Brady floor is. Is that fair? I mean, you know, I guess it is if you think about it. Like LeBron has a lot more jerseys because he played a lot more games and Brady is an undisputed GOAT. So it, it kind of makes sense that Brady's stuff goes for more than LeBron. But what doesn't make sense is when you look at Kobe. Kobe's stuff goes for double the floor almost what LeBron goes to. And about the same as Brady for Kobe. Um, unlike his autos, I mean, I, I don't see why his game used market would have exploded um, following his passing. Uh, you know, it's not like the autos that the supply got cut short. I think, I guess his passing, you know, I mean, it was tragic, obviously, and everybody knew about it. Made him, I guess, kind of a larger than life figure. But there's no reason that his relics should be going for more than LeBron relics if his tops chrome goes for about the same, maybe less than what LeBron tops chrome goes for. That's my opinion. I don't understand that. I personally think Kobe game used is a little overvalued in today's market. Maybe it means LeBron's undervalued, but are that, that's just looking at these three, okay? But the more important question is, are game used prices justified in the greater market? So we often hear that we want game used, we want game used. And from an investment standpoint, I mean, that's just collectors. But then an investment standpoint, people will talk about this. They talk about Kobe, talk about LeBron. Talk about Brady game use. That's what they're talking about. They're saying, well, these are good investments. Well, I mean, sure they are because it's LeBron and Kobe and Brady. But what about other players? 
Is it, you know, that's where I think you need to be looking to say, is game used really a good investment or is it just a different way to invest in these players that were already good investments? Does the player matter? Well, look no further. This card I picked up at a show. Thought it was going to be worth more. Vince Carter. This Vince Carter just plain relic. It's worth, it's worth like one, two dollars. Vince Carter, Hall of Famer. Yao Ming and Moses Malone, dual jersey. Worth about five dollars. Uh, if this was LeBron and MJ, this would be worth like five hundred. But this is worth five dollars, and I thought, surely you know Yao Ming with a big Chinese following, Moses Malone, Hall of Famer, both Hall of Famers, should be worth more than five bucks. Well, at first I, I was shocked, and then you look at it and you realize that a, a Vince Carter relic, a Vince Carter top Chrome PSA ten rookie, goes for five hundred bucks versus a fifteen thousand for a Kobe. That's a huge difference between their PSA ten rookies. And then you look at this, and it starts to make sense why this is worth $1, and this is worth $70. You know, the the gap on the, um, what would it be? 10, the gap, well, I mean, so maybe this is worth 2, and this is worth 60. That's just based on the multiples of what the Topps Chromes trade at. And the Yao Ming is the same way. His rookie Topps Chrome trades for about 600 versus Kobe's 15,000. It just makes sense why their game use isn't worth that much. And it's kind of crazy. And you look at that, and then you realize, you know, so the multiples are in line. The game use of guys like Yao Ming, game use of things like Vince Carter, are trading in line with what, you know, with what the GOATS game used are trading. When you compare it, their base rookies, when you look at, like, their markets as a whole. So, I guess maybe... There is something to the game used market. Um, maybe there's room for the growth of game used to kind of reach the percentage growth in numbers similar to base rookies. I think it's probably safe to say that you know these have grown less than the base rookies. That would take a fundamental shift in how we collect, thinking not about rookies but more about memorabilia. But I think just despite all this hype in the game used market, you still can't throw money at anybody and expect it to be worth a lot. Just like you can't buy rookies of guys like Ray Allen and exp say well, Ray Allen's undervalued because you know you it matters the guy too you can't just buy game used of just anybody and expect it to go up it matters the player and we all know big names outperform that's why we've seen so much hype around big name game used because big names are what always goes for a super premium in our market people are not talking about this people are saying well you should be getting game used investing in game used but what they're not telling you is that if you're not buying the right names in game used, it doesn't go for a ton just because game used is hyped. It does not go for a ton. Okay. And if Tom Brady's game used, his regular game uses for, of any rank, this is just a random card, is going for 60 or 70, what does that make everyone else go for? They cannot be that high. You would need this to go up for the other guy's game used to be worth more. That's just kind of the way the market works. And let me know what you guys think about game use. This is kind of my rant. I'm big on game use. That's why I got this Brady card because I really like game use and it's how I like to collect a little bit. I like to collect rookies and I like to collect game used. But I think that there's just overhype about game used of guys who are not the guys. And I would worry... That with all this, you know, euphoria around it, that you might get caught holding a bag on some prices that are a little higher than they should be, and that they'll sustain in the long run. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know if you liked it. Drop a like, drop a sub, and I'll catch y'all next.